Welcome. This is an auto hotkey tutorial, but we're going to be doing something a little bit different this time. Instead of just running auto hotkey um, how we have been through uh, auto hotkey scripts like this, we're going to be running it inside Java. This was recommended to me by the console TV, and they said they were working on projects uh, in Java and they wanted to incorporate some auto hotkey code into them. So uh, we're going to set some goals for this video. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a Java program that can execute any kind of uh, auto hotkey code we give it. And we're going to do uh, an example of you know manipulating a calculator and still running Java at the same time. So uh, you're going to need a few things for this. First of all, you're going to need Java and auto hotkey. Those are the two uh, main things you'll need. And you'll also need something called native call, which uh, you can get on this website right here, uh, johnberkdard.de, and uh, you just download it here, and it'll save into your download folder. Uh, you also need autohotkey.dll, so you can go to autohotkey.dll, and of course all these links will be uh, with, the, with the video in the description below it. All right, so just click autohotkey.h, and it'll download that. Um, I've already done those two things, so, what we're going to do is we're going to go, uh, okay, well, if we go to the downloads, you see we have our two, our native call and our auto hockey, uh, dot DLL thing. So from here, we need the two jar files, native call and native loader, and we also need the DLL. So we're just going to drag and drop those into our, uh, our project folder. I've already done that. And then we need to go to autohockey.dll, uh, open the zip file, go to the Win32A uh, for ANSI, and we're going to just grab the DLL, drag, drop, right there. Okay. So once we have those, then we're going to need to write a build script. Uh, of course, there's multiple ways to do this, but because people use different IDEs and all that for Java, I just decided to do it uh, real simple from the console. Uh, you just put your path to Java. This is where it's stored on my computer. And uh, the name of your class file. And then I'm sure there's a better way to do this, but I'm not really a, a Java guru or anything like that. So I just set the class path before running this. And we run Java C, Java compiler. And uh, we do this in a console and then we we set it up so we can run our program. All right, so this is our Java, our Java uh, class. We call it auto hotkey test. Now we have a function in here. Uh, you don't need to worry about most of this stuff. You could actually just put this all in another file. Um, all we have to know is we have this function here, public static void AHK, and we pass it some code to run. And that's all we have to do to run auto hotkey code. So you see here, we have, um, we have run calc. This isn't Java code. This is actually going to be run as auto hotkey. You see, we can do other things like sleep and send input and all this. And um, so we can have Java code running. You see, we have this print line here and a print line in there, all in between our auto hotkey code. So it's kind of the idea that you can you can do some things like like moving windows around and sending keys in auto hotkey and do the bulk of your program in Java, which is more structured. So if we save this and we go over here, we have our build script, run it, it compiles, click this, it opens the calculator, type some stuff in the calculator, and then it'll close the calculator in just a second. And you see the, all the time we have stuff printing out on the console in between auto hotkey calls. So, uh, if you're not having all sorts of ideas about the cool things you could do with this, I'll give you some of my ideas. Um, you could run, you could have it be like a live interpreter. If you ever use Python or anything like that, it's just you type one command, it runs, you see the output, and then uh, you do something else. Uh, I could make a video about how that would work, and because there's a few tricks with with this, like how to get the return value of a function and all that. There's a few tricks that uh, I've learned as I've done this before. And um, I think this is just a really cool way to do it. So all we had to do was get the auto hotkey DLL and these class files in here. 
and um, then we just run our build script, which runs the Java compiler, and it all goes together. And you can see this is like, you know, this is really short. This is 36 lines of Java code, and we uh, that's short for Java. 36 lines of Java code, and we can be running auto hotkey and Java at the same time. So that's it for this video, and uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, try this out. I'm going to actually put all this stuff into a zip file, so you can just download it and hopefully just run it uh, right away. Alright, well thank you. See you next time.